Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy with Amy Plans Things and today I'm bringing you a new plan with me video and planner setup for my new daily grind daily planner. I have a couple of videos only up on my YouTube so far with this planner and so I will link them down below if you want to see the unboxing or how I set this up originally but this is what I've got so far. I've used it for about two weeks at this point and I'm really loving it. On this brain dump page I had organized it into different sections and I was just checking off anything that I had already completed and now I'm looking through just to show you here's what my completed spreads look like. This is a goal setting planner and I had 10 goals that I've been using for a couple of weeks now and I'm changing up my goals as I'm learning how this planner works for me so I'm going to work through that in a minute to figure out what goals I really want to be working on and how I'm going to set them up. But this is where I am today. So I was just checking off something else and I've used so many variety of stickers. I've posted some of them on Instagram and I'll try to list all the sticker shops too because I was taking care of the kids. Um, but it was an okay week. I still did get some things done and you know, we had some fun along the way, but I was just going through to see what items I actually worked on the most and wrote down those ones and then started thinking about what items I'd want to be working on for the next week. So the way I had it set up earlier is all about balance and I'm still about that but I don't think I had them written down very well so I kind of focused in and honed in on specific goal items rather than saying I'll work on Etsy. I instead wrote down kind of smart goals for many of them that I can actually like have a little bit working towards each day and then at the end of the week or the end of the month I'll reach that goal or over the four months we'll reach that goal but I'm starting small. So my top priorities for this week are to finish the prep for my Etsy release where I have these trackers and habit trackers and mood trackers. This month everyone decided for September it would be tea and coffee themed over on Instagram. And then I'm going to film four YouTube videos, keep the house tidy. So every day I'll pick a different kind of task or chore that is a bigger chore, not just like cleaning the counters to focus on. And then making smart food choices. So I'll make one meal extra smart and then move your body. So a walk or a workout or something like that. I love these little affirmation and mantra cards from the Happy Planner. I chose out, I believe, in the person I am becoming and wrote that down. It's really easy to find your mantra for the week and figure it out and focus on it. And then I wrote down kind of our schedule of things out of the house for the coming week. It's a week filled with a massage and lots and lots of activities for my daughter, swim class and play dates and a birthday party. So much fun. This next page, um, we're going to start all the decoration for um, the week. I'm trying to get it all done ahead of time. And just so you know, this whole video took me 47 minutes to film. Of course, I sped it up and shortened it down for you here, but it didn't take that long to decorate everything. But if I hadn't decorated it, it definitely would have been, you know, minutes rather than 47 minutes. Anyways, these stickers are Live Love Posh um, from her Beach Babe sticker book. And they're so cute. I love her stickers so much. Um, definitely recommend checking them out if you haven't. Not an affiliate for her. So um, this is, I just love her stuff. Um, but super cute and super fun. Everything I talk about, I will link down below. I am an affiliate for the Daily Grind Planner now. So I have a 10% off code for that. Um, for their planners, for their inserts, for their stickers, for their pens, these highlighters. My code is Amy Plans Things, saves you 10%. But um, check out Live Love Posh as well. She's awesome. So my top 10 goals I'm writing out just this day, but not the rest of the weeks. I'll fill that out later. But so Etsy release, four videos per week, keep house tidy, eat well, movement, sleep well, planner time, get outside, be present, and read 15 minutes a day. I have been saying for the past two months that I want to read more and I never actually do it because I don't have a smart goal set. So 15 minutes a day here I can do and I'll have a little checkbox right over there that I'll check off and I'll write down what book I'm reading in um, the to-do list and I'm going to get it done. 
Anyways, moving on to the next spread. This is using one of the Mickey Mouse sticker books from the Happy Planner. I do have a link down below there as well. Thank you so much for using any of my affiliate links. It helps me out at no extra cost to you. And these Mickey Mouse stickers are so cute. They have so many Mickey Mouse and other Disney stickers. Um, this is just one sticker book that I haven't used very much. Honestly, because it doesn't have too many stickers of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse in it that aren't like in a box or something. Um, but I wanted to use it this week and try to figure it out. Um, and I really love how it turned out. This is the I Heart Stickers sticker book from Happy Planner and has a lot of different fun themes. And I decided to add some fruit to my spread. I've been trying to figure out how to decorate this planner because I am a decorative planner and this is super functional and it's got everything you need in it. So I did a little sticker surgery to shorten that box so it would fit added another box and then decided to just put fruit all around the top and bottom of it. And I think that's going to be a really easy way to decorate spreads from here on out because that's where the really decorative space is. And I can just pick a different theme and just have kind of a collage up there. Um, and it looks pretty good and is quick and easy. And ultimately I want this to be functional, but I do need some decor if I'm going to actually use it and stick to it. I've found that out for myself. You might be the same, you might be different, whatever you are, great. Um, I quickly remembered that I wanted to add a little color with highlighters to some of these spreads, so I added some blue here to match some of the Mickey stickers, and then I was done with this spread. The next spread I decided to use Ocean Views from Kesthetic Plans. I love Cassie's stickers. I think this one sold out now but I'm sure she has some other beautiful books up her sleeve. I decided to cut it a little bit shorter and use the other part of the sticker for a little washi strip. I think that was a pretty brilliant move on my part and started placing stickers all around the edges again, um, at least on the top and a little bit on the bottom. But um, her stickers are really great for people because they have some pre-layered stuff throughout it. It doesn't show here, but you can check them out. You can Google it. You can see some of my other videos. It makes it really easy to quickly throw together a beautiful spread. And I just love how whimsical and coordinated all these stickers are. Anyways, this might just be my favorite spread from this week, just because of the colors and the jellyfish. I think that sticker is so, so gorgeous. I just I just love her stickers so much. There's a link below. <laughs> she also has a couple of box stickers. And of course, I had to throw a few of those in for some function. I did put some stickers over the punch lines. So I grabbed my Happy Planner punch. And while this uh, planner is not the same size as Happy Planners, the punch lines do line up pretty well. And so I was able to punch that sticker. All right, next up is the Tinkerbell sticker book from Happy Planner, and I just love how this one turned out. It is so fun. I added some washi strips. I ended up adding some highlighter, added a lot of boxes, and of course, a lot of stickers with Tink in it. The sticker that I add in the lower left corner in a minute is hard to read because it's gold foil, so I'm going to tell you what it says. It says, don't just follow your dreams, chase them. And I thought that was a really nice sticker for this page with this goal setting planner. It's just chasing all those dreams and working towards the things that you deem important. And for me right now, that's Etsy and YouTube and balance with my family and with things that we're interested in and with seeing friends and all of that. And so um, that quote's a really great reminder for that. Anyways, I love this green page. Super, super fun. It's really fun adding Tink in in random places just as little surprises and being able to um, have her pop up all over the page. Just a lot of, a lot of fun. I like it. Next up, we have a uh, Kell of a Plan, Planning a Life I Love, Volume 2. I have a link down below as well. I didn't want to use any sticker pages that I hadn't already used yet. So I used this one. I really like the colors on this. There are some florals. There's a little girl holding her planner. At this point, my daughter, who was making art next to me, wanted some discs. So I got into my disc jar and gave her some discs. She was going to make some art with them. I'll take them back later before she realizes it. <laughs> and then I got back to planning. 
Um, I found lately that it's easier to do art time with her so that I'm able to actually get my decorating done and uh, it works out really well. Anyways, um, this page turned out so lovely and fun. These stickers are just gorgeous as well. And I just, um, I don't know. I just love stickers. I don't know about you, but there's something about being able to decorate a page quickly and easily and then using it throughout the week and seeing it come together beautifully. And it makes me want to fill it out to kind of complete it versus if it's just blank, I'm like staring at it and it's not super exciting and I don't really have a reason to fill it out. <laughs> The last page of this week, I used the Made to Bloom sticker book from Happy Planner, and it's gorgeous as well. I did florals up on the top and some function down on the bottom. So I used one of these decorative box stickers. I don't always use them, but I thought it was a great way to add some color down there and some decor. And then I put in some boxes on top to add three pieces of gratitude for that day. I love how we're able to track gratitude in this planner. It's really nice. Then I added some flag stickers for function on the game plan. I'm either going to use those for activities outside of the house or for the meal plan. I'm not sure yet. I feel like that might be a good place to track the meal plan, but we'll see. I'm currently using a skinny happy planner for meal planning and um, that's working out really well. Um, but there are a lot of planners to decorate. So if I can condense a little, it makes things a little bit easier, but I do love my skinny happy planner, so I don't know about that yet. I'm still mulling it over. Anyways, there's that last page. Here's a quick flip through of all the pages. But I realized I needed highlighter in this, so I went back and did that. <laughs> and then here's the full flip. I think everything looks really great and it's ready for a successful week ahead. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.